In the first video where we looked at support, we saw how effective orientation of the model can be in terms of dealing with support. And we saw on this model we had a very large red unsupported area, but how very quickly we could click on the model, rotate it around 180 degrees, and then eliminate that red shaded area. So model orientation is the quickest and most effective way of actually eliminating the need for support material. And that's why we covered model manipulation in the very earliest video where we looked at importing your model into Cura. You don't have to stay with the orientation that it first imports into. You need to take a look and orientate it in the best possible position for both um, print quality, speed, strength and the need for support material. Now maybe with this model we do need to print it in the original orientation. Maybe we do need to print it this way up. Previously we clicked on this checkbox under the recommended print setups to generate that support material and we saw it had quite a big effect on the time that it takes to actually print this model. Under the custom settings there's also an area for support. Again there's a checkbox to tick to generate support and when it does that you'll see that there's this area uh, all around support options that opens up. Now you can change the density of the support in a similar way to the density of the infill inside of the model. So the bigger the percentage here, the smaller the grid, the longer it's going to take to print, the more material it's going to use, the lower the number, the more open it's going to be, the less amount of material it's going to use. You can also adjust the type of support pattern that actually prints out. So this is set to grid, but you can choose lines, triangles, zigzags, crosses. And the other option that's uh, underneath this area is to choose whether you want the support material that just touches the build plate. So this is support material that's needed where it needs to generate from the glass plate upwards. If you click everywhere, if there are unsupported areas completely within the model, it will generate that support material everywhere. So that's what everywhere is compared with touching build plate. So these settings here are things that you can adjust. So if you hover over anything, you'll see there's a small dialog box opens up and tells you what they are. So again, the best thing to do is experiment in the virtual world. Experiment in this world and rather than on an actual 3D print, by playing around and adjusting these settings, see what effect it has on the print time and also look at the layers view and see what type of support material pattern is being printed. So in this case we've got 15% and a grid and you can see that pattern. If I reduce that 15 to 5 you'll see these squares will become much larger. So this is a good way of actually making finer adjustments to the support material to actually optimize your print if you do need to use support material. One of the things with support is once your model's finished, you do have to remove all of this area of the print. So all of this is waste. It will take you a while to remove this. It can actually mark the surface in some cases, particularly on the, the underside of this particular model. And all of this needs to go in the bin at the end of it because all you're really interested in is this centre part of the model. So where it's yellow and green and red, that's your actual model. And all of this material on this print in the light blue colour is actually just support material that is wasted material. So support material can be uh, something that you do need, but it can be something that is difficult to deal with at the end of the print. Unless you're lucky enough to have an Ultimaker 3, in which case this blue material can actually be printed in a soluble material. And rather than you have to remove it manually, you can actually uh, just drop the print into a tank of water and this, this material will dissolve away. So that will save you some time in terms of um, stripping off the material manually. So the recommendation from this video is obviously look at orientation first as your best way of actually eliminating support. See what happens if you generate support using the recommended settings but then maybe switch to the custom mode and, and take a look at some of the options that you've got here to actually optimise the support material for your particular print.